Let's talk about men, Asian men. Sexy, isn't it? But not if you believe society's stereotypes or the media. This is Take Back, a series on NBC Asian America. It's about taking back our culture and identity as Asian Americans. Our goal is to break stereotypes. Name a famous Asian American male on TV or in the media. Oh God, Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. Bruce Lee is an Asian American legend, but he's been dead since the 70s and Jackie Chan isn't even American. The truth of the matter is, there is a lack of Asian American men who play lead roles. So this is a personal project of mine. I was lucky to have 350 people take the study and I think the results are really interesting. Jason Chen was tired of seeing this lack of representation, so he decided to conduct his own study through Twitter and Facebook. The three top stereotypes that we found in our study for Asian American men are being good at math, having small genitalia, and being good at computers. And while the information he gathered was far from being scientific, it gives us an insight on the Asian American man. Even though these microaggressions are supposedly small and subtle and minuscule, um, they really do have an impact on people's lives. If you experience a microaggression so often because of your race, perhaps you might not like being part of your race. Stereotypes, even microaggressions, which are casual racial insults, can have a significant significant impact. And about that small penis stereotype, it's not true. Genital size is based on a person's physique. It's the body parts fit the person, the body parts don't fit the race. Where did the stereotype stem from? It's not exactly clear. I do know that there are ways that it has been um, just perpetuated and maintained throughout history. In the 1920s, when Asian people were newish to this country, at least in larger numbers, there were a lot of media articles about Asian men stealing white women, raping them. The term was called yellow peril, where Asian men were seen as primitive, dangerous madmen. Part of that has stayed over time. Perhaps there needed to be these messages that were conveyed through the media, um, consciously or not, uh, to keep Asian Americans in their place. Stereotypes can be used to keep people in place, but so is lack of representation. In Hollywood, it can be seen as a white actor portraying a caricature of an Asian man like Mickey Rooney in Breakfast at Tiffany's, or Jet Li portraying Romeo in Romeo Must Die, but not even once did he kiss Juliet on film. Uh, Asian men felt that there was a lack of representation in the media, and they also felt that Asian men were typically not portrayed as attractive romantic partners. About half of Asian men have experienced uh, someone saying in their presence they don't date Asian men. The lack of Asian American lead roles, combined with white savior movies like Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai or Matt Damon in The Great Wall, perpetuates this emasculization of the Asian man. But one thing is for sure, the narrative is changing. Shows like Fresh Off the Boat and Aziz Ansari's Master of None puts the Asian American man in lead roles. Its popularity reflects the hunger for characters outside stereotypes. And even social movements like starring John Cho depict John in every single popular movie. Asian American men are changing the conversation. NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.